The story I'm going to tell you tonight is about madness. What else? It's also about fakery and a very serious crime. Her hips are so tiny. She wasn't made for children. Now purposeful, a determined, elegant, swaying gait. Blast the crocodile hole, pally shy up, under the trees. And then she slows down. Hesitant. She loiters for a moment at the end of the Avenue Henri Martin. And then makes up her mind and walks into the cemetery at Passy. And you know what's coming, don't you? She glides along the broad paths, branches off into a narrow trail, and soon she's amongst the gloomy, unkempt edges. And then she stops. She hasn't looked down. It's as though she just knows where to be. Finally, that slim face inclines, and she looks at the grave. Stays like that for nearly 15 minutes, before slowly moving away. Monsieur Gervais, please. Monsieur Gervais? Yes, an old friend. Tell him that Roger Flavier is here. I wish I could, but he's been dead a long time, I'm afraid, poor man. Dead? I didn't know. I left Paris in 1940. It's the first time I've been back. Oh, well, that explains it. You knew about his wife? Yes. I had the day before he left the city. <laughs> he couldn't go see the corpse on his own, poor man. He asked me to go with him. She was in a terrible state. No face left. Straight into the ground. I nearly died of worry. I'm sorry, I wasn't very well, that's all. Gaze signifies a psychological relationship of power in which the gazer is superior to the object of the gaze. Perhaps I'd better drive. Certainly. Let's go for a good long drive. It might be our last chance. The Germans could break through. Let's not talk for a while. And let's forget all about the war. You look so sad. Just the same as usual. Sometimes. I wish I could stop thinking. I wish I were an animal with no past and no future. I like our drives. I like not knowing where I'll end up. <laughs> Nothing's over until we decide it is. 